सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज कंटिन्यूइंग अवर इंटरफेस अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो इन दिस सेशन वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टाइप एसर्शन एंड वी विल सी अबाउट टाइप स्विच सो इन अवर प्रीवियस प्रोग्राम इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन सो वी हैव यूज इंटरफेस टाइप एज अ फंक्शन पैरामीटर फंक्शन आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड दिस इज अवर प्रोग्राम सो वी रोट अ स्मॉल फंक्शन डिस्प्ले समथिंग एंड दिस फंक्शन इज एक्सेप्टिंग इंटरफेस एज अ फंक्शन आर्ग्यूमेंट and uh, we call this uh, this uh, this function display something with multiple data types like string and int floats boolean and uh, our custom data type a custom struct so our program was uh, running perfectly okay so we can see here that and if we run our program again so go run main dot go so we are getting each and every stuff so our program is not uh, failing and uh, with this just one one change with the uh, uh, interface type as a function argument so we were uh, able to collect about any kind of data type but uh, here there is a problem so what if that if we is there any way we can be very much sure that what could be the underlying data type of this of this interface so maybe maybe based on some based on some different data type we want to do some some different operation so is there any way and is there any go any way available in the go so answer is totally yes perfectly yes so we can tell the we can assert the what is the data type underlying data type of the interface so the very easily using type assertion so this is what the type assertion so for example say here we are going to uh, we are going to collect this uh, uh, variable v as a interface type as a function argument and whatever value this uh, v is having so we are printing it here so but we can also say we can also create another variable so s and we can simply type it something like uh, like interface variable so v is our interface variable with a dot and in the parenthesis let's say we we can say that what that that the underlying data type of this interface uh, interface variable interface type is let's say it is going to be a string so right now so if we try to run our program with uh, with the, if we try to print this out fmt dot print ln and if we pass on s so actually if this is a string so we will be able to perfectly run it so first of all so let me let me comment out all these three all except the string because otherwise that would raise an error so right now if we run our program so here we are getting that that perfectly fine that this uh, the the data type of the uh, variable this v is going to be a string and that is why we are explicitly telling the go compiler that uh, that this uh, this interface type is going to have the data type of a string so this is why we are running it perfectly but if we change the data type from from a string to integer and if we run our program again so here there would be a panic the reason being that here try to understand it very clearly or very try to give some attention here that what is happening here is that uh, we we are passing here as a integer but here in our program so this variable this this value 20 is coming into the variable v that is a type of interface and at this line so there are with this statement we are telling explicitly that this the underlying data type of this variable v interface type is going to be a string so try, so ex, so uh, actually uh, expect this the variable s is going to ex, uh, to expect a string data type but since this is not a no this is not a string and that is why it returned a panic and our program crashed failed okay so this is a type assertion and using type asser assertion so although our uh, function is uh, is to, is uh, perfectly fine to accept any data type but we can be very much sure that what uh, that what uh, would what should be the underlying data type so right now this our program is a pr pr program got failed got crashed so but this was using type assertion so it returned another variable also a boolean one so that uh, whether this operation whether this assertion was uh, was successful or unsuccessful 
so it it also returned that one so we can uh, collect it and uh, using by the convention so uh, yeah, we use a variable uh, uh, a variable the for this uh, validation for this test purpose so we use the okay variable so this is just a convention so you can you are uh, free to use just anything and we will if we try to print it so this time our program won't crash but it will just return whether our uh, our uh, this uh, this assertion is successful or not so but if we pass something string so we are going to receive the value also so the value the, so the 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 actually see try to uh, again try to understand it that this assertion if this is going to be successful or not so this is going to be collected inside this variable okay and if it the operation if this, this assertion is successful so underlying value is going to be collected in the variable s okay so cool so this is about the type assertion and uh, using the type assertion so we can uh, switch uh, we can also uh, also uh, also implement the switch also that is called a special kind of switch however it looks to be like the plain switch but this is going to be something different and uh, maybe based on the underlying data type we want to switch it uh, based on the type and we want to perform some uh, specific operation based on the data type so we will say so let better like we will say it here so let me comment these two and here we will say let's say the variable s and this is going to be so we we, we have to uh, we have to assert on the type so we will say dot with a uh, dot notation and uh, inside the parenthesis we simply need to to uh, just provide the type because we are going to assert on the type so it will start the switch statement and the first case could be let's say if the type is a string so we want to do something and let's say we will print it so this is a string and the value is so we will provide the value here so s and if we try to run our program so here also so we are going to get so this is a string and the value is needed and uh, we can also similarly we can also we, we can further make our, pro our program more robust so whatever so whatever whatever our the possible data types could be so we can have it here so simply i'm just going to copy this and we will say int and again uh, we will go for a float also so float 64 and we will again we will say this is a float and let's say since we are also going to pass a manager also so we will say manager and we will say this is a manager and right now if we run our uh, program with multi uh, multiple times so our program is not going to fail rather we are getting the first time we provided uh, a string second time an integer third time is a float and uh, fourth time was a false so actually so just uh, hold for uh, just hold a second so we can also have a default also Def default and no it i put it at a wrong place so default and inside the false so we will say this is the default data type okay so now try to run it so our uh, for this uh, boolean one so cause uh, we also passed a boolean and this was not uh, mentioned in any of the cases so this type was not uh, matched with any of the cases so that, that so that is why it came to the default clause and inside default clause so simply we are passing that this is a default data type so that is why for a uh, uh, for this uh, boolean one so we are getting this this thing and for a for a manager so if we pass a manager manager struct so at instance of manager manager struct that is our custom data type so we created here manager struct 
so if we pass on a manager type so we are getting it that this is a manager and the underlying value so this is what about the type assertion and type switch and uh, we will also see one more thing in it in the in our last uh, few sessions so uh, uh, we i got uh, a message about uh, one question that can we return a interface type also uh, using this uh, uh, any any fun in fun in the uh, function signature so the answer is yes perfectly fine so just like if we want to return a string so simply we can say like here so return and we will say this is the this is the uh, typo return value so this is perfectly fine so we can return a string and here we can also collect it here so let's say red value is going to be assigned to the return value and we will print it out fmt dot print ln and we will provide it so return value and if we run our program so like this go run main dot go so yes so we are getting the returned value so right now this is a string and uh, if we try to return any different data type for example say a uh, integer so this won't compile cause explicitly we are telling that this function is going to return a, a string type and not an integer but if we uh, if we change the signature to return an interface type like this so right now this is perfectly okay and uh, if we run our program again so we are getting the return uh, return type as 100 and if we change it to a let's say string data type a string return type so this is perfectly fine so we are getting the correct correct one and uh, we can also return the our custom data type also, also. So for example say a manager like this so we are going to return a manager type so we are getting it correctly so there is no problem at all so we can uh, uh, we, we can we can just return a interface as well in order to make our our program a robust one our function robust and likewise based on the type switches and type assertions so we can understand we can predict ahead of time that what would be the return value so that we can uh, perform our operation uh, as as per our requirement or as desired so okay so i hope you enjoyed the session and still if you have anything to say any question any doubt or any query so please do let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer them as soon as possible so till then take care and happy coding